Goldman Sachs has made a bold move overnight, urging investors to overweigh Chinese tech stocks. Their latest report hits the new on the hand. This tech breakthrough has punctured the American economic exceptionalism bubble. Now, China's AI advancements are reshaping the global investment landscape. With the emergence of the deep seek, the powerhouse in the AI models, the U.S. tech monopoly is under serious threat, sending shockwaves through the global capital markets. NVIDIA saw a staggering $600 billion evaporate overnight, while TMSC stock crashed and AMD lost the market value equivalent to a small Xiaomi within just a week. So what exactly is a deep seek? How does it wield such influence? It's astonishing that such a stellar product is available for free, my friend. As someone with a financial background, I can't help but ponder its long-term profitability and the potential impact on the U.S. AI industry. Could this innovation be a game changer for China? Did China just win the race? Today, we will tangle these burning questions for you. Hi, my friend, I'm Sheila Wang, and I'm here to update it on the most recurring edge and fresh business and investment information for you. So don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe my channel. I also welcome you to join the discussion in the section below. Now, let's we dive into today's topic together. What is the Dipsic? Well, Dipsic is the name of a large AI model developed by a company founded on July 17, 2023. Its rapid rise has caught everyone off guard. And here's the timeline of its development for you to digest. On January 5, 2024, Dipsic Limited Companies officially released, marking the launch of the first AI large model. On May 7, 2024, they unveiled DeepSeek V2, igniting a price war among Chinese AI model, with its API price that's just 2.7% of GBT40, with awake local competitors like ByteDance, Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent follow suit. On December 26, 2024, DeepSeek V3 is launched and made open source, boasting a training cost of only $5.5 million, one third of what major players like Manta and OpenAI spent in their exploratory phases. Its performance was on par with closed source models, leaving the global community in shock. On January 20, 2025, the new inference model, DeepSeek R1, is released and open sourced, rivaling OpenAI R1 while its API price is just 3.7 of OpenAI R1s. This again stunned the international scene promoting Manta to establish four research teams overnight and causing global computing power to plummet, leaving NVIDIA's reputation hanging by a thread. So you may be curious about what's the story behind DeepSeek, right? The company is backed by the renowned quantitative hedge fund. Huan Fang found their business model is straightforward. Let me tell you, they earn management fees based on the skill of their assets, ensuring profits regardless of market fluctuation. This stability means Huan Fang isn't short on cash. They even found a massive A100 cluster before Nvidia restricted sales on to China. This financial backing allows DeepSeek to focus on its grand vision rather than just the profits. So naturally, the next question is, who's behind the DeepSeek? Well, every groundbreaking product has its an idealistic entrepreneur at their helm, right? And DeepSeek is no exception. Its success is largely due to its co-founder, Liang Wenfeng. Born in 1985 in Guangzhou province, Liang Wenfeng graduated as a top student from Zhejiang University. During the 2008 financial crisis, Liang began exploring the use of AI in fully automated quantitative trading. By 2015, he founded Huanfang Quantitative Investment in Hangzhou, and to date, the firm has managed over 100 billion RMB in assets. With the backing of Huanfang's resources and team, Liang launched the DeepSeek in July 2023, aiming to dominate the field of general artificial intelligence. 
In a remarkable feat, he surpassed all Chinese tech giants in the large model arena, becoming a leader in the industry. While there isn't much public information about Liang, to in deep interviews he gave before Deep Six Rise review his unique perspective, he firmly states, "We are aiming for AGI." You know what means AGI? That is artificial general intelligence, not just the simple applications or cloud services. He criticized the many Chinese companies for their tendency to follow rather than innovate. The boldly claims OpenAI isn't a god; he can't always be ahead. Had Dipsic not achieved such success? His views might have seemed overambitious, right? However, the success of Deep Six validates Liang's foresight and technical acumen. Well, maybe you want to know the stunning power of Deep Six, right? Why it's free, and what it makes. What's truly impressive about Deep Six is that it's free for everyone to use. Is it really that flush with cash that it doesn't have to worry about operating costs? Or is there something deeper at play? Here's why DeepSeek is offering services for free. I give some potential answers. Firstly, strong financial backing. As we mentioned before, DeepSeek's parent company Huanfang Quantity is a leading quantitative hedge fund in China, managing over 100 billion RMB in assets. With such robust financial support, DeepSeek doesn't rely on external funding to keep its operation running smoothly. And the second potential answer may be cost control advantages. Huanfang has been building this AI quant trading system since 2016. The collective power and algorithmic expertise they've accumulated can be repurposed for Deep Six development. Plus, with innovation like hybrid expert architecture, Deep Six training costs are just one twentieth of the Open AI's. That's amazing, right? And a third potential reason may be market competition strategy. By going open source and free, DeepSeek can swiftly capture the global market. In just one week, it reached the top of the download charts in 150 countries. The open source code creates a lock-in effect. Making it likely that other countries or companies will develop systems based on this code, creating a dependency on Deep Six technology. But let's be real: free doesn't mean it lacks the ability to generate revenues. A closer look at the market reveals several potential profit avenues. It's apparently that monetizing data assets. Can be a very good way to earn money for them. As Deep Six serves industry like finance and healthcare, it accumulates proprietary data. After de-identifying this data, it can form specialized knowledge based for commercial sales. They could also release regular reports on consumer trends and tech innovations, leveraging a subscription plus customization profit model. The second one I can figure out is the patent licensing. Dipsic had laid claim to over 50 co-patents in areas like multi-model learning. This means that they can charge licensing fee to other companies. There are also any other ways to earn money. If you're interested about that, you can check the below. And don't forget to follow my channel. In summary, no profit model can truly rival the deep-rooted advantages of a superior product. Right? Deep Six is not just a game changer; it's refining the rules of the game. So, how are Americans reacting to Deep Six? Initially, tech giants like Ashman thought Deep Six lacked innovation. He said, but then they quickly announced that their own O3 Mini would be free too. After seeing R1's pure reinforcement learning, they had to admit that DeepSeek is quite impressive. However, they're emphasizing value for money and hinting that they will release even better models soon. For now, let's hold our opinions and just wait and see. Then you've got Elon Musk. Who's getting a bit conspiracy-minded? He's quietly liking tweets claiming that DeepSeek actually has thousands of H100s, suggesting that its training costs aren't as low as advertised. 
Meanwhile, Manta is fueling the hate. Before even launching their own model, they got surpassed by Dipsy. This led them to frantically reach out to the US government for help, asserting that they need to reclaim the top spot in open source AI. There's this great Chinese model that just came out from DeepSeek. It's super advanced. China is really catching up. We need assistance from a political angle. Donald Trump, despite clearly not understanding the tech, is using DeepSeek as a wake-up call for American industries. He said, Chinese companies should be a wake up core for our industries. We need to be laser focused on competing to win. He ordered the lifting of the restrictions on AI research, allowing US companies to flourish. There's a split in opinion. Some want tighter export controls on Chinese chips, while others recognize that strict regulation might have pushed Chinese researchers to innovate in ways that weren't necessary for the US. So the reaction from the American public is varied, with all sorts of opinions flying around. Clearly, DeepSeek has shaken up the US AI landscape. So what is America really afraid of? The goal behind the US chip blockade against China is crystal clear, but China has a history of breaking through similar barriers. Once they do, things can get incredibly competitive, leaving the US feeling quite uncomfortable, right? The rapid advancement in Chinese manufacturing, the internet, the renewable energy are solid proof of why they're a source of fear. For a long time, the narrative has been that US is the innovator and China is a follower. Discussions about why China lacks innovation abound. The perception has been that Chinese AI technology lags behind the US by at least two or three years due to limitations in computing power, innovation environments, and business styles. Chinese AI even gets labeled as waiting for foreign open source developments occurred. However, after the launch of DeepSeek R1, tech giants in the US like Manta scrambled to create project teams to study R1. Pingface even worked overnight to replicate it. The shift in innovation from the East and the narrowing gap in technology is what surely rentling the confidence of American tech leaders. Moreover, this AI race isn't just about profits, my friend. AI represents advanced productivity and could eventually surpass human intelligence. Mastering AI technology translates to holding power, which is why US tech giants are deeply concerned about losing their future dominance. I read an article that compared DeepSeek to Seed, like the one plated in someone's subconscious in Inception. It has become a haunting nightmare for those trying to stifle China's technological progress with cheap restrictions. Will they impose more barriers, or will those efforts backfire? You can guess that. Did DeepSeek surpass NVIDIA CUDA? And recently, we've heard some whispers that DeepSeek has bypassed NVIDIA's CUDA, sending the stock price tumbling. What's the story here? We all know that NVIDIA doesn't just sell hardware. Its CUDA computing platform is a game changer. Anyone using NVIDIA's GPUs for high-performance computing must navigate the CUDA ecosystem, which is as sticky as Apple's iOS. Over the past decade, NVIDIA has set a standard for high-performance computing, leaving companies feeling trapped. And here I want to make it clear. DeepSeek used the PTX programming instead of traditional CUDA C++ programming. Why? The limitation of interconnect bandwidth on H800 GPUs meant that chip-to-chip -chip communication wasn't strong enough. To enhance this communication, DeepSeek had to dive deeper and directly optimize using PTX. Does using PTX mean that they completely bypassed CUDA? Not at all. PTX <laughs> means parallelized thread execution. It's actually part of the NVIDIA CUDA programming model. Simply put, the CUDA compiler first converts high-level languages like CUDA, 
C++ into PTX before compiling it into machine code SASS that GPUs can run. DeepSeq is just escaping the first step and programming directly in PTX. While this approach increases programming complexity, it has clear benefits. It resolves cheap communication bottlenecks and speeds up execution by cutting some of the compilation steps. It's akin to writing assembly language instead of high-level language. The barrier to entry is higher, but efficiency gains are significant. However, DeepSeq's strategy doesn't mean it's free from CUDA's ecosystem. Actually, PTX is still part of the ecosystem. Secondly, PTX code can only run on NVIDIA's GPUs and relies on NVIDIA's drivers. To chains and libraries, there's no cross-platform or cross-vendor usage. Additionally, writing and debugging PTX still requires CUDA's tools. In summary, while DeepSeq has gained low-level control and improved execution efficiency by using PTX, it hasn't escaped the CUDA dependency. So for those investors who hold NVIDIA stock, you don't need to worry too much. As we know, before with NVIDIA stock take a nose dive of 17%, it's time to pause and consider, could this be a solid entry point? As long as AI continues to evolve, the demand for computing power will remain strong, even for Liang Wenfeng, the CEO of the DeepSeq. The fact is that the US won't sell high-end chips is a headache. He wants them too. Previously, the narrative was that China was hampered by computing power. But now it's clear there's plenty of room for technological growth. Efficiency is becoming a priority, and NVIDIA's strength comes from its long-standing ecosystem. Unless computing power becomes as basic as electricity, that's when NVIDIA might face a real crisis. After the emotional storm passes, the long-term demand for computing power will still be a strong reality. So, if it dips, don't panic, my friend. However, we can ignore that this downturn is affecting more than just the tech stock. It's hitting energy stock tied to computing power and dragging down the entire US market. This reflects a broader shake in American dominance and confidence. More critically, DeepSeq is shaking up the industry even further. So here's what DeepSeq is changing. I list some of them. Open source ecosystem competition, intensified talent competition, shift international cooperation, alliance dynamics affected. So if you want to get the more deep change that DeepSeq brings, you can check my in-deep analysis, my friend. So it's easy to figure out that DeepSeq has proven that the US cannot maintain a slow competitive advantage in AI. And even the tech giants are struggling to hold on to the notion. But one thing is clear, DeepSeq's emergence is boosting confidence among Chinese tech companies. Looking at the current state of the Chinese stock market, especially for tech firms, we see a significant discount in valuations compared to their US counterparts, similar to the narrowing gap in AI development. The valuation disparity between Chinese and American stocks is also decreasing. In 2025, my friend, the old friend may be very clear that I'm keeping tracking the information, the data, and the stock prices around the US and China's tech companies. So if you're curious about that and you want to have some interest on that part, don't forget to follow my channel. In 2025, I will keep you updated on investment opportunities in the Asia Pacific region as well as the US. Here's hoping you find more ways to profit from these insights. See you next time, my friend.